A new study has people alarmed about the safety of plastic bottled water after scientists at Columbia University found that some bottles of water contain hundreds of thousands of tiny plastic fragments in every liter. That's up to 100 times more than previous estimates. And those plastics could be linked to a whole range of health problems. Now, this study did not mention any brand names. I'll be the first to say not helpful study. Dr. Celine Gounder is a CBS News medical contributor and editor-at-large for public health at KFF Health News. Dr. Gounder, thank you very much for being here. The fact they don't mention brands is going to have, you're alarmed and then you want to know what to avoid. With no brand names, that's tough. So I guess talk to me about what was found and then in the absence of brands, how people can try to minimize their exposure. So this study was really focused on plastic bottled water, not other types of bottled water. And what they found was very high levels of nanoplastics. So that when plastics break down, even just like unscrewing a cap, you're gonna have a little bit of friction, a little bit of breakdown of the plastic, and you find that in the water that you're consuming. Wow. Okay. What kind of health effects can that have? Well, the issue is that with um, these tiny fragments of plastic, we don't know if the plastic itself can cause health effects, but they are um, bonded to or combined with other chemicals like phthalates, for example, which are what make plastic more flexible. Mm -hmm. So when you get these tiny pieces of plastic, you're also getting exposed to these other chemicals. Those are known as what are called uh, endocrine disruptors. In other words, they have hormonal effects. Mm. They can mimic, for example, estrogen and other hormones. And those hormones or higher, level, higher exposures to those kinds of hormones can be associated with anything from diabetes to neurocognitive effects in little kids to cancer. And so that is why we have some real concerns about these exposures. Yeah. You know, I heard about this as I was watching Nora last night as I'm chugging on a bottle of water. So you instantly hold up the bottle of water and say, I don't see anything in there. You're saying it's so small that we can't see it. It doesn't matter the brand. So what are we supposed to do with this information? Because you hear it and it's very frightening. Like, ah, should I just? Yeah, we hear nano yeah. and micro. Yes. And plastic. <laughs> and, and, and plastic. And, and we're all drinking from bottled water. So what, what should we be doing with this information? And it's not just in the water, frankly. Oh, you know, oh. it's, this is all in any number of beverages we consume, uh, which also come, you know, many of them in, in, in plastic bottles. It's in the food supply. It's in the environment. So wow. it's very hard to avoid this kind of nanoplastic exposure. Mm -hmm. um, some of the things, basic things you can do would be to try to avoid plastic packaging. Okay. That will help reduce some of the risk. Don't microwave your food in plastics. Huh. Um, I do that all the time. Yeah, and, and then try to use uh, containers like glass or stainless steel. At least that'll help reduce your exposure a little. But I are just, you saying it's not safe to drink bottled water? That's what I'm trying to figure yeah, out here. Bottom line, I mean, bottom line. Yeah, bottom we do, line. Should, yes. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, aluminum cans, glass bottled water. Glass bottled water, we were talking, that's what you do, Tony, yeah. um, is definitely a, an option. Um, stainless steel bottles that you can refill from the tap. In fact, tap water, uh, unless you're in a place... Filters? Can this be fixed? Use filters and... Uh, filters can actually introduce more plastic. I think. Oh, my Just goodness. start eating plastic pellets for breakfast, people. <laughs> Train your body. Get your body ready to handle but, but it. Can, are, 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 you, are you saying people should stop drinking bottled water? That's what I'm trying to get to here. Are, what, you I, what I would say is try to... If you're going to drink bottled water, don't do it from a plastic bottle. Do it from glass or stainless steel. Uh, to, you know, from the tap is generally going to be safe unless you have uh, an area where there's lead pipes or something like that. Right. You know, there's a lot of ifs, right? right. Yes. And then ultimately, you know, this is so confusing and hard for the average person. This is why you have the EPA and the FDA that are out there that are supposed yes. to be protecting us. I mean, this is their job. We yeah. can't do all of this ourselves. Just try to avoid it if you can. Just open your mouth when it rains. Like, uh, <laughs> right about that old school way. Dr. Gander, thank you so much.